Hi everyone, I'm Kasper, I'm Viewstar for Core Team member, and in this video series I will show you how to install, customize and extend View Storefront. Don't worry about the difficulty level because we will handle everything from the ground up. So without a further ado, let's just start. Prerequisites. Before we install View Storefront, we need to take care of the few things. The first one is we have to have installed Node.js. We suggest to install LTS version of uh, Node.js. Uh, the second thing is yarn.js, which will be um, package manager, and you can get it from yarnpackage.com. And the last one is Visual Studio Code, which will be our um, default um, IDE in our screencast. Installation. To start working the view storefront, we need first to clone GitHub repository. To do this, let's navigate to github.com slash divantltd slash view minus storefront, and let's clone uh, repository and let's switch to Visual Studio Code. Let's open terminal and let's type git clone repository URL and the data at the end. The data at the end will tell us that um, we want to clone repository to the current uh, directory. The next step requires a small config uh, modification. So let's first navigate to um, config directory. Let's copy the contents of default JSON and let's create new file. Let's call it local the JSON. And let's paste the contents of the default JSON. So in here we, we can modify our configuration and this will overwrite um, the default configuration. So uh, let's try to find um, this entry and what we have to do is we have to replace all occurrences of this URL with demo.vstorefront.io so let's do this right now uh, let's replace with https demo.vstorefront.io and let's replace all occurrences Let's save the file and now let's uh, install dependencies by typing command yarn Okay, this, this process can take uh, some time, but uh, right now we should be able to um, visit our browser at a local host port 3000 and see our application. So yeah, it's running and here we have, we have all the products from, um, products, uh, from the Magento hosted uh, at our demo and uh, everything works works perfectly. So let's switch back to Visual Studio Code and I will give you a small overview of the directory structure. Let me walk you through uh, the directory structure. So let's start first with the config uh, directory. In here we can find the default one. So this is main configuration file. You can find a lot of uh, options and settings uh, you, can, um, you can modify. But like I said uh, before, uh, we can override those uh, settings by uh, using our local the JSON. And in here we can just modify uh, sections we would like to override. Um, the next, we have the core directory. This directory where view storefront framework, framework lives. And we have very low level um, features um, available in here. Uh, the, code um, responsible for uh, building our application, the core filters, and uh, I think the most important are of course the modules. So under the modules, core, core slash modules, uh, you will find um, the most important parts of, uh, of view storefront. Uh, so code responsible for um, handling the card catalog, and so on. Um, 
we also have the pages, uh, which are the mixings for our core, core pages, main pages, something like the category or home page. Uh, and basically that's, that's all from the most important directories under the core. Uh, we also have the source directory and this is the place where when you will spend most of your time during the um, team implementation. Uh, so the source teams and the name of your team. Um, and in here we have all the files that are responsible for rendering um, uh, the visual part of your store. Um, in here we have, maybe I'll walk you through the um, through those directories. In here we have the assets, so those are usually the images and uh, icons and fonts. We also have the components. Under the components we have two directories, the core and the team specific components. The core components are something like um, card component or uh, models, very low level um, general purpose components and the team, under the team, we will find the team specific components. So something that's very um, specific for, uh, for the team. We have the CSS um, directory and we can use uh, um, SCSS um, um, in here to create um, global, uh, global styles. Uh, we have the layouts. Uh, by default, we have the three available uh, layouts. The default one, empty and minimal. Uh, those are responsible for rendering the outer shell of, uh, of our um, application. Uh, we have the mixins where we can just overwrite uh, the core mixins in here or create custom one. Um, and we have uh, pages as well. Those are the main um, main those are components for main pages, something like the home. You will find the markup for the home page uh, in here. And we have also the category, uh, which will uh, get the contents of the category page. Uh, we have the resources. Uh, under resources, we have usually the JSON files for handling multi-language uh, multi for uh, content. And we also have the router. The router is very important because it can route uh, user um, from one component to another. So let's say from one page to another and we are achieving this with uh, with router and in here we are just importing components and um, providing uh, an array of um, usually uh, objects that contains the name of path uh, the, UR, the URL so that actually this is the path and the uh, name of the component. Mm, we, uh, from the mm, team directory, we can easily extend uh, service worker. So under the service worker the directory, you have the, we have index.js and in here we can extend our service worker. Um, and we have some basic templates and mm, main mm, mm, application uh, file, app, app, uh, that view. Mm, and we also can extend Webpack configuration directly from our team. So that's all for our uh, for our um, team and quick walk through um, through our directory structure in Visual uh, in um, View Storefront. Now I will show you how to customize basic uh, things in View Storefront. So maybe let's open. Mm, our source directory because like I said before uh, this is uh, the place where we can start customizing stuff and let's open a source and um, teams default and maybe let's open first um, the pages and let's start customizing home page because this will be um, this is something that we can easily customize so in here we have the a, lot, a few components uh, head image promoted offers and few sections and those are responsible for rendering our home page so let's take a quick look at our home page so in here we have the header and few other sections um, that are rendered on the home page and this uh, this component is responsible uh, for um, creating the home page so in here basically we can 
uh, create uh, custom uh, custom element or just regular HTML element. So let's start with a uh, regular HTML element and let's try to uh, create, for example, sample section. And in here, we can also provide um, class name um, to leverage uh, um, style section of this single file component. So let's create class and let's some add sample ca class in here. And let's scroll uh, to the bottom of this single file component. And in here, let's try to uh, add our custom style. So this will be sample uh, sample class. And let's let's for example um, specify width something like 300 pixels and height something like 300 pixels and yeah oh, let's fix the typo and also let's maybe change the background color something like red and the color into white and this will sh sh uh, so now we have to save the file and this will be automatically uh, rebuilt on our front end part so let's take a look it should be available in here after refresh and yeah we have our custom section in here um, so this is the basic way of extending um, this storefront so you can add custom elements and custom uh, and custom components directly to your uh, view pages.